Yeah, it's it's hard to focus on human rights during the pandemic, but in Hungary, if the people are getting angry about something, the government wants to do it. So we actually have a power. I think in every crisis, people like us have to find opportunities and uh, because that's simply a, a, a strategic approach and and it works if you if you really point out to injustices uh, they stand out of course the pandemic affects everything including this but uh, in the end what we are doing it's uh, fighting for equality and human rights in the end and uh, I, I don't think that a pandemic should uh, stop or slow us down. Human rights can never wait, regardless of, of the situation we're at. I was actually afraid that people might be less sensitive to, to the issues of human rights now that they are afraid for their own lives, for the lives of their, their loved ones. And, uh, but they're not actually, and also in, in Poland lately with the, the uh, protest against this uh, abortion uh, ruling is also proof that people uh, are still very much interested in, in human rights, even in the time of pandemic. It, it, it hasn't changed. In some countries, such as Hungary, for example, that's actually the most extreme um, example for me. Uh, when the parliament basically passed a new bill that completely um, discriminate against uh, transgender rights completely. And there is no valid uh, explanation for why did they do it in terms of pandemic. And if politicians argue that we don't have time to talk about human rights or these, as they like to call it, like culturally ethical questions, then why do they keep talking about it during the pandemic? So I completely disagree with these opinions that uh, it's not right time to talk, talk about human rights because apparently there is the right time to violate human rights.